These guys get out of here. I bagged the first one. I almost got him. <laughs> Gentlemen, Mr. Jack King, Lady of the United States Secret Service. You boys owe me $50,000, I believe. You see, my friends, survival of the no, fittest, no, that's no, what counts. No. My, 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 my. This is a great game, boys. 
Gentlemen, to the Pentangle Hunting Fraternity. Couldn't have done it better himself. Matt! <laughs> Stop playing with that calf. We're gonna be late. Come on. It's a long drive to New Orleans. Uncle Larry's counting on you. One time, boys. Ew, look at you. You're filthy. I'll get my things and we'll be right up, okay? Okay. Make them hurry up, Grandpa. She's growing up to be a real cute girl. Yeah. Your mom and dad would be proud of her. Don't put the blame on yourself, Matt. Their deaths weren't your fault. I guess you're right. Well, we better hurry up, right? I guess Mr. Richards will be making speeches and that kind of stuff before the parade. I guess. Yuck. Why did he go into politics anyway? Because he wanted to be with the people he grew up with, so he can help stop poverty and crime and make better lives for themselves. Jay, he's got himself a heck of a job. Come on, Chatterbox, let's have some coffee. I can get my hands on. Okay, guys, show me what you know. Show me some karate. Sure huh? All right. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Matt, you want to take me on? Strike! 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 Oi, 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 oi. Little Bruce, huh? Yeah, okay, it takes okay, Bruce. Okay. Little Bruce Lee. <laughs> You're kidding. Cowboy here. That's a really nice man. That's a Daisy, you're still the best cook in the whole wide world. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. I get a lot of practice with these guys, so. <laughs> hey, Councilman, how's the politicking going? Well, you know, Jimmy, in a big city like this, when you're trying to turn the system inside out, it gets hard. Well, it's going a little bit too well for some people, though. Honey, this isn't the right time to bring that stuff up. Well, why not? When well, someone's trying to threaten your life. And who's that? The usual bunch of troublemakers, you know. No big thing. They call themselves Pentangle. Pentangle. Look, except for a few prank phone calls, which are par for the course of this game. You know that. 
No harm's been done. Now, I want to make a toast. Here's to the future. The future of living together and working together and a future of peace for our young people so that they won't make the same mistakes that we've made. Hmm? Here, here. All right. Now, are we ready to go to the Mardi Gras? This all the protection you have?
Gentlemen, two of the world's great martial artists are here with us tonight. Commander Jeb Wallace, current holder of the World Iron Man Championship, <laughs> and Lafayette's own Wade Delaney, Harvard Heisman Trophy winner, and the South's youngest senator. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good to me. What are you gonna run for president, Wade? Give me a little time, Elliot. <laughs> you gentlemen, there is one other man here with us tonight. He's a philosopher, a thinker, a soldier, and founder of the giant Hadley Corporation. I give you Professor Elliot Glastonbury. Elliot. <laughs> It's all right for old Charlie here to toss around compliments like this, but I want to tell you, this is the boy that earned a couple of million dollars before he was the age 21. Let's give oh. a big hand for Charlie Lavelle, That's president it. of Lutex. Thank you, thank you. You know, I'm just, I'm just so humbled to be in the presence of men like this. Prime examples of American men. Well, I'm proud of all you boys. <laughs> My dear friends, fellow countrymen, Americans, we 
living in dangerous times. They call us paranoid because we love our country, because we want to survive the economic collapse of our land. You know what's coming, don't you? Rioting in the streets of our cities. Yes, sir. Started already. Right. That's right. Civil disorder everywhere. Dope crazed savages. Gangs of nigger rapists. Sniveling politicians trying to enforce gun control. Commie guerrillas in Central America pointing their guns north. Just waiting to cross the Rio Grande. Just waiting to terrorize your mama and your children and your neighborhood and your churches. First, they'll take Mexico. Then what? Then what? More than 20 million Mexicans live in the states of California, Texas, and Arizona alone. Now, what happens when they all decide that they too want to join the People's Republic of Mexico? Then what? Then what? Then New Orleans! Yes! New Orleans! Chicago! Boston! New York! No, no, gentlemen. It is our constitutional right to bear arms. It is our sacred duty to do so as efficiently as we know how. To become soldiers in the cause of freedom and the American way of life. When these yellow belly liberals call us paranoid and try to hand over our country to the goddamn commies without a fight, we can and we will. With an iron fist, say no! 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 Mr. Richards, I've given her a sedative, and uh, she'll have a good sleep. Thank you. Let's go see Mom, okay? Oh, um, Matt, uh, here. It's key to our house. Um, you and your family just make us up at home, all right? See you tomorrow. Hey. I know there's nothing I can say. But I want you to know. If you need me, I'm here, okay? I know. I know. Matt Hunter, please. Yes, Mr. Hunter's over there. Good evening, sir. T.C. Cooper. I was told to report to you. Take us to the Richards house. Hello. 
Admiral, it's for you, sir. Matt Hunter. Matthew, that you? Yeah, it's me. I hope you'll be calling in. How's Larry holding up? Well, how the hell do you think he's holding up? Do you remember the old safe house downtown New Orleans? Yeah. We'll see you there in a couple of hours, okay? Look, find out all you can about a group that call themselves Pentangle. Yeah, sure. Grandpa, do me a favor and fix the guy some coffee, will you? Sure, man. Cooper, are you working? Uh, yes, sir. There's Sarah. Look, I gotta go out for a little while, okay? Grandpa, I'll look after you. Will you be back by the morning? Yeah, I'll be back by the morning. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. Send him in. Hunter is here. Hiya, man. Good to see you, son. What a lousy business this is. You know, General Al Wyatt, counterintelligence, Charlie Cray, FBI. Gentlemen, Captain Matt Hunter, despite his youth, one of the best agents my department ever had. Admiral, why was Larry Richards running around without any Secret Service protection? He refused it. I mean, we warned him of the danger a hundred times. What about Pentangle? Sit down. Excuse me, Charlie. Some kind of secret society with extreme right-wing views. Survival of the fittest, that kind of stuff. The symbol is a five-pointed star, a pentangle. Now, we believe that each point of the star represents a member of the society's inner sanctum. We've been after them for years, man. How do they operate? It's buried deep inside big business, disguised as honest traders. But really, they're into every dirty business in the book. You name it, they do it. Anything to raise money for the movement. What do they have against Larry? A couple of years ago, a Pentangle Corporation tried to grab 10,000 acres of public parkland to build a chemical factory. Larry stopped them. Problem is, we don't have a clue who they are. Could be any number of uh, offshore corporations hiding behind battalions of top-class lawyers. One thing we're pretty certain of, though, is that the five key members are all high-profile businessmen with top-level connections in Washington. There must be some way we can flesh them out. There is. They have a weakness. Oh, yeah, what's that? They have a hunting club. A what? A hunting club. Except they don't hunt animals. They hunt men. Now, how the hell do you know that? Because we found literally dozens of mangled bodies in the bayous, all of them branded with the sign of the Pentangle. So what you're trying to tell me is that Pentangle put all these guys in the bios just so they can hunt them down. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. You see, in order to be a member of the Pentangle, you have to pit your skills against the toughest, most resilient men available. If we could only put an agent in there who could beat them at their own game. No way. I only want you to identify Pentangle. The agency will do the dirty work. I can't risk it. You're the only man who can pull it off, Matthew. My mind is made up. All I can do is help protect Larry's family. You can move him to the ranch of the 24-hour guard. We'll take care of him until things cool down. That's it. All right, Matthew, thank you. It's a mess, boys. First time our organization has failed in its purpose. And you are directly to blame, Parker. It's crazy, Elliot. 
I assigned four of our best men. It should have been simple. Andrew, everybody makes mistakes. It's all right. This idiot jumps out of the crowd and balled up the whole thing. Idiot? That idiot killed four of our best men, Parker. Let's have a look. Is this him? Yes, Elliot. Is he in government, Wade? No, no, he seems too young. I just think he's a friend of that Negro boy's. Looks like a pro to me. Oh, yeah, he's a pro. Absolutely no question. Well, I'll tell you, gentlemen. I think we ought to put the son of a bitch in the forest and hunt him. Oh, we got to kill him quickly, just in case anyone thinks we're losing our touch. And that goes for Sambo while you're about it. Got that, Parker? Yes, Elliot. Gentlemen, to Parker. Andrew. Okay, it's all set. Please follow me. The helicopter is right outside. All personnel, clear the area. Pad number two. Yes. It's for you, Mr. Richards. I got it. Be right back, honey. Come on, this is private. Let's go. Mr. Richards is unavailable at the moment. May I ask his call? Oh, yes. John Moxie, Television 11. We'd like to know if Mr. Richards would consider appearing on the news magazine tonight to discuss the recent tragic events. I'm sorry, uh, he's unavailable. Say yes. This is Richards. I'll be glad to appear on your show tonight, Moxie. What time? Be at the studio at about 5 o'clock. Someone will meet you at the Beale Street gate to see you through all the formalities. I'll be there. You know it's a trap as well as I do. Of course I know it's a trap. Let it go. Let the service take care of that. Admiral Brown has taken personal charge of this whole operation. Matt, they killed my son. You know I gotta take care of this myself. So there's nothing I can do or say to change your mind. You know that. What's going on? I can't leave you guys here. It's okay. Take the kids to the ranch. We'll see you tomorrow. I must do what I've been told. It's an order, Cooper. An order. anywhere not on me what about you threw them all away so what are we gonna do what we always do improvise, improvise. stay straight to the next two corners then make a left make a right over here
It's okay, it's only the armor. How about you? Good. Hey, behind you. You tell your little buddies at Pentangle to lay off Richards. They'll be biting off more than they can chew. Hey, Bubba! We'll be back for you! And your Negro friend, too! My fight. Your fight's my fight. You just remember that. Let's go. Glad to see you, Mr. Hunter, Mr. Richards. Quiet as a Sunday picnic. What happened to your arm, Dad? It's just a little accident, son. It's okay. Good to see you, boys. Where's Daisy? Upstairs in bed. Where you ought to be by the looks of you. I'll be fine. I'm gonna go check on Daisy. Okay. I'll fix you a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you, sir. Come on, son. I'm glad you're back, Matt. Mm. Yeah, me too.
It's beautiful, isn't it? Remember when we used to come out here with Mom and Dad and have picnics? What did you want to talk to me about? Well, Uncle Larry and I have to go away for a while. Government business? No, my business. Matt, why would anyone want to kill a good man like Uncle Larry? Because sometimes in politics, Sarah, you have evil men who won't stop at anything to get rich and gain power over other people. And Uncle Larry's trying to stop that. Are these men like the ones who kill Mom and Dad? Yeah. Okay, Matt, but be careful. I love you very much. I love you, too. Come on, I'll race you back, okay? Come on. Oh, come on. about Pentangle, Elliot. He challenged us right off. That right? The man's crazier than hell. He said for me to tell you to bite off and not to bite off more than you can chew. Just whets my appetite is all. Well, we can't let him get away with that, can we, gentlemen? Our supporters may lose faith in us. Supporters? They're shit. Just like the rest of those idiots out there. Jeb's right. Survival of the fittest, that's what counts. That's why we rule and always will. Don't you worry about me, Elliot. He's an impressive man. He'd make a great asset to the movement. I don't care how impressive he is. I've been told that he's diametrically opposed to our way and purpose. You know who he is? Yes. Yes. He's the next Secret Service partner to that loud mouth nigger. Is that right? That's right. Belong to G6. That's the service's elite of the elite. This boy is the most promising operative they ever had. Apparently, he retired after his parents were killed by a bomb next to him. Lost his nerve? Matter of the heart. Had to take care of his kid sister. Sentimental weakness. We know where he hangs out? Yeah. At a farm near Braxton, a couple hundred miles north of here. It's up there right now. With a nigger? With a nigger. And a whole bunch of secret servicemen. <laughs> I like it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think it's just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's great, Elliot. <laughs> it is. It is. Parker. Yes, Elliot? We lost 11 men because of you. No. Nope. Now, that wasn't my fault, Elliot. That man is a snake. He's, a, he's some kind of devil. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. You're a disgrace to the movement, Parker. Please, don't, Elliot. Come on. I get it right. Elliot, don't do this. God damn it. I, I get it right. Please. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Invite young Mr. Hunter to the great game, gentlemen. Oh. 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 Please.
down. Gentlemen, it's Hunter, all right. And there's Secret Service guys all over the place. Four in the kitchen, three patrolling, with Hunter and Richards upstairs, asleep. What about the hired hand? No problem. They're out in the bunkhouse. OK. You all know what to do. Let's go. Eight of clubs. Four of clubs. Jacks. Jacks best one. Getting a little chilly outside. Hot soup on the stove. Don't mind if I do. Where are the others? They're around. Oh, God. Oh, 
don't worry, baby. We're going to be okay. Go get him. Oh, my God! Mad Hunter. We are the Fantangle Hunting Fraternity. You've been looking for us, I believe. I'm so very sorry that we have to meet in such adverse circumstances. Bring them down. Bye. Sister alone, you son of a bitch. She can't hurt you. Oh, no, you're being invited to participate in the great game. Your sister is our insurance. You'll turn up. We've got our eyes on you for quite a while. There's a Fay Dordeaux in Ville de Lovette two weeks from today. If you accept our invitation, you'll find your sister there, Virgo intact. Should you talk to anyone, well, I'll leave that to your imagination. Good luck. sophisticated techniques, we still can't put a stop to these bastards. Yeah, what worries me is their intelligence system. They seem to know every goddamn move we make before we make it, and we don't know a thing about that. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with us? Hmm. I wish I knew. Admiral, do you think Hunter and the kid are still alive? Without a body, there's always a chance. Maybe they... maybe they burn with the house. Yeah. I'll have the lab boys go through the ashes with a fine tooth comb. Now, listen to me. First, I want this whole area turned over, just in case Hunter's laying out there someplace. Second, I want a total media blackout. Third, if one word of this business gets out, I'm going to have those responsible shot. Ten days, gentlemen, nothing. Not a, not a goddamn thing. I think Hunter and the kid are still alive. How do you figure that? Well, we've combed every inch of that territory. Still no sign of the bodies. Did we get a report from the lab on the ashes? Yeah. Nothing. Maybe, maybe Pentangle buried them. Why would they do that? They left the rest of the bodies laying around. Maybe they kidnapped them. Can you see Matt Hunter letting himself be taken alive? Damn it, if he's alive, why the hell doesn't he show himself? I know Hunter too well. 
after what happened at the ranch. He won't trust anybody, not even the agency. No, I think he's out there somewhere. And we'll be hearing from him in his own good time. He made it. Half a million dollars. The man who takes hunters here. Gentlemen, the great hunt is about to begin. Hey, 
haven't seen you before. You look so lonely and so lost. My name is Shishi. Perhaps I can help you. I'm looking for a girl 12 years old. 12? Oh, la la. You're a very bad boy. Oh, you're hurting me. Her name is Sarah, and I want to know where she is. I can't think. I don't know. Follow me. There is a new girl here. Very pretty, much in demand. We are going to auction her off to the highest bidder. Tonight at midnight. For 500 bucks, you might have the first bite of her cherry. Cherry. Voila! There she is. Thirty minutes start. Sotaco, Reva. Looks like a storm's brewing, boys. Good. Rain brings the gators out.
Come on. safe in here for a while, all right?
Sarah. Sarah.
Sorry about that, cuz. I caught you playing possum on me, cuz. What's working on? You play ball with me? Let me go run the ball, boy. Get the doctor fast. This here is my sister. And I love her very much. And if she dies, I'll hold everyone in this room personally responsible. Hurry up! What happened, Matthew? These are the members of the Pentangle hunting group I've already killed. Jeb Wallace, Chuck Laval, and Wonder Boy, Wade Delaney. And there's at least one more to go. Matthew, you've exceeded your authority. The committee must know who the rest of these people are before you proceed any further. Well, you can tell the committee to stick it where the sun don't shine. I know the goddamn liberals scream fascist, but the simple truth is, Hitler was right. Man was a visionary. Forty years after his death, half the world is communist and we're defending our borders. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So let Hitler take care of the goddamn commies on the vision, we have the chance. Yeah. What a different world to be today, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Terror will succeed unless opposed with equal terror. We're heading for Armageddon, gentlemen. Are you listening? Yeah. The end times. This is the last days. There's a fellow in the hall to see you, sir. He looks rather dreadful. Oh, yes. Excuse me, gentlemen. This won't take long. Serve the coffee and cigars. I will return. Yes, he's 
here already. Thank you. Goodbye. You got here a little earlier than we expected. Amazing, isn't it? How's the leg? Never have I felt more well disposed. Thank you. We have a little unfinished business to take care of. Let's go up to the Great Hall. game before. Ten million dollars interest you? Pentangle would be proud to enlist a man like you. Pentangle's finished. Over. I'm afraid not, youngster. It's just beginning. It's spreading. It's spreading all over this country. Like a brush fire on a hot summer day. Oh, yeah? Then who's running all this? And who's the fifth member of the Pentangle? Alas, I'm sorry to say, you'll never know. Choose your weapon.
She's through the crisis. She's coming round. long sleep. She'll be much better when she wakes up. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's correct, sir. Congratulations, Matthew. You did it. Investigations into the dead men's affairs indicate that you've cut the heart right out of the organization. Yeah, but there's still a few questions unanswered, aren't there? Oh, yeah? Like what? Like who's the fifth point of the pentangle? And who told them that the Richards family was staying at my place? Only your department knew that. Their intelligence system was very good. You bet it was. Are you insinuating something, Matthew? No, I'm not insinuating anything. But I'll tell you something, Admiral. If what Glastonbury said is true, and Pentangle's not finished but just starting, I want you to know something. So am I. So am I. Thank you.